Hey folks, Pops here from Bourbon and Banter. Quick question. If one barrel is good, are two barrels great? Well, let's take a closer look and find out. The question was, are two barrels better than one? The reason we pose this tea today is because we are taking a closer look at Still 630 Distillery's Experimental Collection Release Number 3. And this release is, once again, their single malt, which we've reviewed in the first release and the second release. The second release was finished in rum barrels. Well, this one is finished in a second barrel, um, and they call it a double barrel. And this is the technique that Still 630 has used to great success in some of their other products, including their double barrel Rally Point Rye, which is absolutely fantastic, and one that I uh, highly suggest you get up, uh, your hands on if you can. This one though is the single malt again. It's a uh, two row uh, malt barley. It's aged initially for 14 and a half months and then they dump it into a brand new barrel for another month to see how that would affect the flavors. Uh, once again, it's being released at 100 proof. Every other variable is identical, identical to the previous releases so we can compare and contrast. And you know, I enjoyed the first release quite a bit but then when uh, X2, or release number two came out, um, I really, really liked that one because it was aged in a rum barrel. And that added uh, some nice, sweet, fruity uh, additional notes to it, which really, really um, spoke to my palate and whatnot. So I'm curious to try this one out. And uh, once again, these are in barrels that have a char level of three for those of you who are interested in that. So let's dive in and give it a, give it a quick nosing. You know, as I've stated, um, um, once again, there's always a lot of um, upfront oak on these young whiskeys because they're done in the 15-gallon barrels. But once again, um, David and his team, is, they've done a really good job in that the, the oak's not overpowering. Um, it's really, once again, balanced um, well. And like I said with the first review, it's a single malt, so there's certain things you're going to get out of it. You know, sort of that malty cereal, biscuity quality in the nose, if you will. But this one is 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 darkened quite a bit, and that comes from that extra aging. And when I say darkened, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's kind of toned it down a little bit and rounded it out. And as a result, a lot of the, the cocoa, the chocolate tones, really start to soar out on this one compared to the first release. Once again, extremely pleasant. It's got a great viscosity to it. One thing you really notice right away from that double barreling is some extra sweetness that comes from that charred oak. Um, a lot of people don't realize, but charred oak can have a very sweet um, taste. And often on hyper-aged whiskeys, it can become overpowering and lead to a very sort of sweet, but then interestingly bitter um, flavor. Um, this is actually sweet, um, stopping before it becomes too much or too artificial, if you will. Those traditional single malt flavors with the biscuit and toffee are there but once again, sort of intensified from that extra barrel and that extra sweetness. It's, it, it's very pleasant, it's very tasty. And the finish has that sweetness on it. Um, and that's really what Stort's stays pronounced. There's still sort of the hints of those toffee and some of those baking spice uh, on the on the, the back sides of my tongue, but the sweetness is what stays on the tip. Um, there's hardly any burn to it for being a hundred proof whiskey, which I find interesting. Um, very very um, warming, a little bit of a, a kickback on the burn, which I enjoy, but nothing nothing too intense. You know, once again, another great example of how you can take one mash bill and experiment with the different types of finishing. Uh, which is what making is making this experimental collection so much fun. You know, having gone through the three single malts, my understanding is this is the last one for right now. We'll be switching styles for next month, so that'll be something new and exciting. 
Um, of the three single malts, um, you know, I would probably rank them. The rum finish is my favorite, um, but I might have to put this as my second. Um, I really like what the double barrel brings to in terms of bringing out some of those darker, more intense flavors. And I think a month of extra aging in that, in that second barrel, just about right. I think if it had gone any longer, um, it would have gotten overly sweet and um, would have put it out of balance. So, you know, all in all, this is another great example. And, you know, once again, if you're in the St. Louis area or know someone here or can get here, I do encourage that you check out Still 630 and what they're doing with the Experimental Collection. Um, the next release will be on the first Friday of October. Um, at uh, 6 30 at the distillery if you can make it please do um, I always make an attempt to get down there and uh, I'm looking forward to the next release which could be wrong but I think they're uh, moving into brandies um, it'll be an interesting change and something that I'll be bringing back to you guys in another video review uh, within a couple weeks so until then guys I encourage you to share your whiskey and drink curious